So if you do not know, we end every podcast episode with our Ask the Mom segment where we take a question from our Mom Street community um, that may or may not be related to the topics of our podcast episode, and we do our best to give you guys some answers. Um, so our Ask the Moms tonight is a, a little more complicated than some of the questions that we've had recently. Um, and the question is, does everyone in my travel party need their own login for the app. So we were just talking about the app. So let's see, um, you know, how we can help with this. And can one person handle all of our reservations and booking for everyone? And how does that work? Sounds like an excellent question for you to answer. <laughs> Look right up your alley. Up my dog with a mystery. I login stuff. <laughs> Okay, so let's handle the first part of this. Does everyone in my travel party need their own login for the app? Short answer, no, but it really truly depends on your situation. Um, if you're all in the same family, for example, my immediate family, my husband does not have his own login. He uses mine. He can do everything he needs to do. We can both do everything we need to do in the app. It will not interfere with each other if you are both in the app at the same time. So that's section one. So I'm like, oh, interesting. Yeah. So the only thing that it would like interfere is like it won't let you double book things. So like if you're both in there trying to get a virtual queue, whoever gets it first will get it. The other person's not going to get one. So like that's the only instance where like it interferes with itself kind of. Um, but as far as anything else goes. The only other downside I could see with that is if you – say you needed to try to make a dining reservation that overlapped with another one and you couldn't because you were already booked you would need a separate True. email address a separate account to book that other one i think that's the main reason that elliot made his was because i needed a second account to book something that was overlapping at the time i don't remember what but yeah probably that tends to be that tends to be the reason and that's why i would say like if you on the other side if you've got more than one family traveling together in a party let's say you've got you know for example if I were to go with my extended family it would be my parents my sister and her family and then me and my family so that would be three different families I would suggest all three of them having a separate login just for instances like that one you're going to be able to book your you're going to need a login to be able to book your resort if you're staying on property you're not going to be able to necessarily you probably could book everything through the one account, but it gets a little more complicated when you're going to like, you can use your app to unlock your room and different things like that it gets a little bit more complicated. And then dining reservations are the big one because the, the app will not let you book multiple dining reservations with conflicting times. Yeah. So occasionally when you have bigger parties that you're traveling with, if you need to book for a party of 10, maybe you want to split it down to five and five to see if you can get reservations easier that way. And oftentimes you can. Yeah. We did like four and three or something. We had a really big party. Mm -hmm. so we yeah. So you definitely need, like Kate was mentioning, you definitely need two accounts and two emails for that instance. Um, so again, yes and no. So the second part of the question for Ask the Moms was, can one person handle all the reservations and booking for everyone? Again, yes and no. Kind of similar to what we just talked about. Um, if you want one person to handle it all, then you're going to need to give them your login so they can manipulate whatever needs to be manipulated. That's what I'm really good at. That's what I often do. <laughs> is is doing... I, I do. <laughs> now, I will also remind you that giving your login to someone needs to be someone that you trust because there is information in there that you may or may not want someone to have access to if you don't know them again if you're traveling with them chances are good that that's fine and no issues there but just they will control to like cancel your vacation and stuff too so you have to be very careful with yes. who you give that to yeah yes kate trusts me so <laughs> So just keep that in mind. Um, and basically how that works is just the one thing that you really do want to make sure is that everybody is linked in your party. And that is sometimes the biggest headache. And oftentimes if I'm helping people do that, I, I literally will just tell them like, I, it's not that I don't trust you to do it, but just give me your login because it's way easier <laughs> for me to just go in and do it because yeah. it's like six different steps and Disney has recently added new steps to where you have to give individual people specific permission to view your 
all your reservations and your photo pass and this, that. Like there's so many options now, which is great if you're someone that utilizes it a lot or has an annual pass and is linked to lots of different people. That's fine. But if you're just trying to link for your, it's it's just a lot, especially if you've got kids on multiple accounts because they don't have their own logins. You have to like go through four extra steps to add them. It's a lot. So just find someone that knows what they're doing to help you because trying to do it on your own is is a headache. And But I will also say, if you don't get it done before you get to Disney, that's fine. Go to your front desk, go to your concierge. They will be able to help you do it at your front desk before you get into the parks. Yeah, um, I will say at Disneyland, it just works differently in terms of tickets and accounts and things. Uh, they're similar, but not the same. So if you are going from one park to the other, just know <laughs> that it's going to be a little bit of a different ball game in some ways. Um, Genie Plus works very similarly in most ways, but not all. Um, and uh, But I think the biggest thing trans going park to park is I always forget to transfer my magic band, the ticket on my magic band. I was like, I always have to unlink it and then link it to my other ticket. Because <laughs> then I go to like go to the park and they're like, but you don't have a ticket. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> they do. Right. It's first and it gets out of line and fixes it. So just Yeah. Know. So Disneyland has an extra step in there. So so just know that if you're if you're going to Disneyland it's a it's a slightly different uh than Disney World. Um and so make sure yes. you that yeah and in disneyland you really truly only link someone by adding their ticket to your account um it's not kind of thing yeah it's not a friends and family situation it's very different so you literally just add their ticket and once their ticket has been added to your account then you're able to book for your party and again this is important for doing things like genie plus yeah, you have to do that unless they're going to book theirs separately, which becomes a huge headache. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> Moral of the story. Does everyone need their own login? Yes and no. <laughs> Can one person handle all the reservations and booking? Yes and no. So it really just depends on your situation. Again, I will always encourage people, if you need help, please reach out. I am more than happy. Kate is more than happy if she's able to help you to link you and all that good stuff. It's it's a lot of steps. If I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, just because I so I have no time to help anybody. In so I'll be like, here's Jackie's contact info. Go. Hey, don't ask Kate. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. She doesn't want to help you. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I advice that I can talk history, but I just don't. I just like, I can't. I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> yes and i do a lot in the app i help a lot of people with their their itineraries and genie plus so it's like second nature to me and i have gotten fairly decent at explaining it so 